Earth. That little spinning ball of rock that rotates forth upon and out from an average yellow star way out in one of the arms of the Milky Way galaxy. Our home. Now, there are lots of fun facts about our solar system, not just related to Earth, and so I thought that in this video I would take the time to tell you some of my favourite facts about every one of them. Mercury. Now, excluding Pluto, Mercury is actually the smallest planet, and despite this, it's one of the heaviest. This is because Mercury is basically solid iron with just a thin rock, thin layer of rock covering it. This is thought to be because, sometime when the planet was forming, Something has smashed into Mercury and blown off all of its outer layers of rock and left it as just the iron core that it was, which has slowly cooled down until it's basically just solid iron except for the little bit of its core which is still molten and turning like in all the other planets. So yeah, Mercury, heaviest planet, even though it's the smallest. Go figure. Venus. Now, Venus is actually one of my favourite planets because it's just so fascinating. First things first, Venus is the closest to Earth, not only in distance but also in size and atmospheric conditions and all that kind of stuff, so it's really cool. Mercury is also the hottest planet because its atmosphere is so full of like carbon dioxide and sulfur, it's got greenhouse gases going mad, so it's the hottest planet in our solar system. It's also the brightest because the carbon dioxide and all the other gases in its atmosphere actually reflect the light a lot better than everything else, which means that it shines really brightly in our sky. It also spins backwards on its axis, which, you know, it's the only planet in the solar system that spins the opposite way to the rest of them. Another fun fact to do with Venus, it stays longer than its year. Go figure! This means it spins on its axis slower than it actually orbits around the sun, which is really kind of cool when you think about it. So, Venus, fascinating planet. I could go on about it for a long time. Do I even have to say it? Earth, our home. This planet, I couldn't really be bothered to think about many fun facts for because, well, in all honesty, you should know most of them because you live here just like me. So, find your own facts about Earth. Go on, lazy people. Mars. Now, Mars is pretty cool too. It's a lot smaller than Earth and just behind us. So, you know, it's the red planet in the sky. You should know it. You should actually be able to see. On some nights, you can actually see the red from Mars with the naked eye, which is really cool. But that's not really what I wanted to talk about. One of the things that I did want to say is that way down on the bottom of Mars and one of the canyons way down on the layers and layers of ice there, they've actually found running water. They found running water on Mars, which is just, oh, that's exciting. Jupiter. Now, Jupiter is like Venus. It's a very fascinating planet, one of my favorites. And favorite, favorite fact about Jupiter, it spins so fast that it bulges it at its equator. Its day is only 10 hours long, that's how fast it spins on an axis, so it squashes it down and the mass gets pushed out the sides. That is how fast Jupiter spins. That's why all of its, because it's a gas giant, it's made up of gas, so that's why all the stripes come across it, because it spins so fast around, and so that's why they're all stripy. Now, this thing here, this big red spot, it is the biggest storm in our solar system. The Earth could pass through this with like kilometers to spare on both sides. It's massive, it's been there for, as long as astronomers have been looking at the stars. So it's a pretty long time, and it's just the biggest storm just raging, circling around and around. Sometimes it disappears, and then it'll, and like, it moves around the surface, and it'll sometimes disappear and then come up just like 90 degrees to the right or something, which is kind of cool, the fact that this storm can move around on the surface without actually disappearing for that long. You know, it's really epic. Something else people don't, not many people know about Jupiter. It has rings. Not many, but it does have a couple of rings. It's got like 64 moons, but a few rings that they orbit in between, which is just exciting because no one really knows that Jupiter has rings. Does this warrant any explanation? It's Saturn. The rings should give it away. Now, Saturn's rings. They're really cool. They're actually like lots of particles of like dust and ice and rock that are all floating around and orbiting around Saturn. It's thought to be like collided asteroids and moons and stuff like that that are shattered upon impact. Jupiter's rings are made up of blocks of ice and rock, as I just stated, but they range from things that are the size of like ice cubes all the way up to blocks that are bigger than houses, which is massive. And the reason that they're so shiny is because of the ice. So the light from the sun goes all the way out, hits these rings and the ice, and then gets reflected back again, which is why they're so bright. Now, my most favorite fact about Saturn, and probably my favorite fact out of every planet in the solar system, is that if you put it in water, Saturn would float. Just, oh, that's so cool. It's like a massive planet that would float. I just, no words can describe how exciting I find that. Do you really want me to say it? Yes, yes you do, is that what I hear? 
find them. Uranus. Yes, there you go, I said it. Now, fun fact, it's on its side. Sometime apparently it was hit with an asteroid or a planet or something like that and got knocked on its side, which means that it's not spinning like every other planet that way, it's actually spinning over itself like that. It also has rings, not as many as Saturn, a bit more than Jupiter, so its rings, it's like, so that's the planet, and then its rings sit around that way, which is kind of cool and it rotates like that, which is just excitingness. And for me personally, it and Neptune, they kind of blur into one planet. So, so that means that according to me, there are actually only seven planets in the solar system. Not eight or nine if you count Pluto. But, you know, those two planets blur into one. Yay! I don't really know much about either of them. And last but not least, let's not forget about Pluto. Tiny, meeny little planet. It's actually a dwarf planet now, which I'm sure most of you know. And this is because it's sitting like right on the edge of an asteroid belt, so it's the only one that we found. But when telescopes got better, uh, astronomers discovered more dwarf planets, some of which are actually bigger than Pluto. And so that's why it got demoted out of being a planet into a dwarf planet. But it could be worse, because there were planets that were previously considered dwarf planets that are now just called asteroids, which would kind of suck. You know, I don't know why people were worried for Pluto's sake. Poor Pluto. But Pluto's moon, its biggest moon, is actually about half the size of Pluto itself. So they have a rotating axis, kind of like if you had dual suns, except it's two asteroids. And if you had versions of Pluto and its moon, 2D ones, kind of like this, but real size, they would fit side by side across the USA. That's how small they are. That's just... Wow, they're smaller than our moon put together. This, they would fit across the US. Oh. oh, that's like probably my third favourite fact about the entire solar system if I labelled them all and bothered to number them all and then put them in order. It probably would be number three, which is, ah, oh, just, it's exciting. Finished. So that's me finished again for a week. Lots of facts about the solar system. Sorry, this is something that I just find so fascinating, which is why I'm talking really fast because I was really excited. I had a lot of facts that I wanted to fit in. I actually had to cut a lot of them out so they would fit within my time requirements, but exciting, ah, oh, solar system, and you know, so if you like this kind of idea and you want to find more information about space and other things that interest me, just tell me because I could talk for hours about black holes and quasars and pulsars and the different types of stars and galaxies and solar systems, and just excitement. So yeah, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and like I always say, subscribe, comment, like, share, all of that. I will love you. I already do love you because you're watching it and you made it through a video. So, you know, my heart goes out to you. Not that there's, you know, it just does. Because water means life. There could be like little micro parasites in there.